Good uh, Willie. I was just about to ring you. Um, Kingy and I are coming up today. Uh, so we need a place to stay. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, later on uh, in the afternoon, uh, I'm leaving about after my physio at uh, 2.30. So uh, we could have gone to straight to Waitangi and stayed uh, somewhere there where he normally goes, but then I, we had to go back over the other way after that. It, it's just somewhere to stay, otherwise we're going to come in tomorrow, but Kingy wanted to go up, he doesn't like to travel and rush up. So, hello? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, so... Uh, we might go where where he he, he normally goes in Waitangi, but then again it's just just to go from there to Pirinaki. How long does it take from Waitangi to Pirinaki? Uh, uh, what time is it? Now and a half or so. Oh, now and a half. It's going around the long way because normally I'll just go straight to Pirinaki and and not have to go up there. But I'll see what he says anyway. We've got nowhere to stay up there. That's why. In, in Ferinaki, I don't know. I don't know where to stay. Otherwise, we just stay in the car. Uh, uh, he wants to go up this afternoon or tonight, anyway. It's not, not, not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we're going to Waitangi, and then we'll go across from there. Yeah, that's that's all right. We can go. We can go in the morning, it's just that we'll, we'll go up there and stay in Waitangi and then come across in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's him that I was wondering, um, but uh, that's all right, that, that's no problem. And um, <coughs> because he's just uh, come out of hospital um, before I went down the East Coast. So I'm, yeah, 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 he, he, he's thing ruptured. He's... Um, prostate. The blood, he lost a lot of blood and went out the back end and, and um, so uh, he's got to have an operation or something later on, a prostate thing, but he's booked in I think for that, but um, that was the problem. I had to watch, well, you know, watch, well, well, watch him and my nurses just left and they said my blood pressure was too high because I haven't been taking my medication. It's 170 over 100. 170 over uh, 100 should be it should be 120 over 80. So uh, I haven't been taking my medication, although my weight has dropped right down. Um, uh, I've lost 15 kgs, but the the problem I have with ringing ears is still there. <coughs> so I got to take my medication because um, um, I haven't taken it for a few 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 weeks, um, few days. I mean, um, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so what else? Um, oh, I've got, I'm just getting my things ready to bring up and, and to make another presentation again. Um, mostly it'll be around the Whakaminia um, on, uh, things. Uh, what, what else is on the agenda? Uh, well, the agenda will be set tomorrow. Oh, okay. okay. And, and the, the agenda for... What time? Yeah, yeah. No, that's all right. I, 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 I can, I can fill in some other bits and pieces that I was talking about. I think that's, that's what it is too. Okay. Yeah. No, no, that's okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just having things ready when I come up. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, no, I'm oh. <coughs> okay. Okay then. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's Willie Peter. That's my trusted friend. Um, and uh, for our Fui tomorrow in Whirinaki, he just want to make sure we're going up there. Um, and Kingy's going up with me. Um, I'll drive up. Um, uh, so uh, uh, that's the arrangement. And uh, stay up in my tongue. Because I didn't know where to stay in Whirinaki. I know where Whirinaki is. to get there but we're going to get this sorted with the uh, donkey 
in the Navy. We're going to get that sorted. You can notice I'm putting things on Facebook now uh, with these power notes. Those are real. I've just put one there with Terawakato uh, Whareherehere Manukau. Terawakato Whareherehere Manukau and uh, Hongihika. Those two chiefs are responsible for the native titles that have gone through the world. Okay? That's nobody's business. It's private, uh, commercial, um, contract uh, with the King William, King of England, Britain, UK, and us, the Whakameninga, part of the uh, 1835 flag and 1834 flag. The Kōra Rārekta title uh, uh, is what we're going under with these banknotes. Okay? The banknotes <coughs> are in particular unique to New Zealand and the Whakameninga chiefs, these two chiefs, <coughs> Waikato, Waikato chief and Ngāpui chief, right? The two Asians with these titles I'm doing are unique in all of its legality and legitimacy uh, to bill charge debtor John Key and his government and the Navy for misusing and defrauding our Queen Victoria Trust that we're going to uh, audit, have audit with the British Navy, military, government. Now you'll notice that John Key didn't invite the British Navy here with all the rest of his TPPA Navy <coughs> uh, cartel or whatever you can call it um, for their business, their private admiralty business. Now they've got a problem with us with our admiralty flag. That's the only admiralty flag in the world of commerce. Now what I'm talking about is commercial ownership of Maui lands, Maui hapu, native, indigene lands, not Maori lands, that's John Key's. John Key's title <coughs> and his legacy is Maori iwi uh, authority and their titles which are Queen Elizabeth uh, Crown Corporation titles. It's a Queen's Corporation in a Queen's Bench Court. Now, our titles are King's Bench Court and King Sovereign Monarch. That's still a live contract, commercial, King of the Sea, jurisdiction of Admiralty. Okay? That's the difference. They have Vice Admiral, not Admiral, the real Admiral captain of the ship, surrogate, that's me, okay, to make decisions on behalf of the king. So, you'll see that I have a pound note of one million trillion, one thousand million trillion pound note, the one pound note <coughs> with Epic on it, and chief Hongihika on the left with his spear and Chief Terawaikato Whara Herehere Manukau on the right. That's the Manukau land title in Auckland to Glasgow, Scotland. Titles on these lands, the British titles on these lands at Kororareka. Captain James Reddy Clendon proclaimed the land belongs to the King of England. King William IV at that time, His Majesty. <coughs> now, that's what we're going under. Him and the British HM ship alligator, Captain George George Lambert. Lambert. Okay, so those two ships those two captains, captains as surrogates King William the Fourth and myself surrogate King William the Fourth native in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court on the treaty grounds and the ship of Admiralty with our flag on the right hand side going to the top. We're doing that, we're petitioning the flag to go to the top and we're going to have it stay there straight to Britain 
I'm that Kororareka 1834 legacy and legitimate title to these lands <coughs> will seize of John Key's Lynn's titles, Mary Lynn titles, Mary Lane Court titles, and all the instruments back into the King's Bench Court from the Queen's Bench Court on 6 February 2017. Now, John Key, this one's for you. I'm telling you, you must turn up in that marae as per normal for your responsibility to this country, to the Treaty of Waitangi, on your obelisk at Titi Marae, you go and pray to your obelisk that you've got permission to carry on occupying these lands under your occupation land titles. Okay? They're not original land titles. They are only instruments of mortgage under the King William IV Admiralty Ship of the Sea that's standing next to the Waitangi Marae on the treaty grounds. That's our contract. Private contract. None of anybody's business is what I'm telling the Whakamininga. They're the commercial business partners. Commercial, trading, bank, King William IV, business partner to Britain. Okay? You got that? That's why those notes are there. Those notes are there on the whole Commonwealth countries of the world, there's 78 countries that the Queen's got a hand in as ownership, the Queen's ownership of those lands, including 66 million acres here in New Zealand. Those will be seized back on that day <coughs> into the King's Bench Court, and these notes given to John Key, if he's not going to turn up, we make a ruling in the grand jury of this Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Native Court jury will make a decision and myself, the sheriff, will read out the proclamation that the land belongs to the chiefs and not the king or the queen. And also the charges, the levy debtor instrument, power notes, on you, John Key, on this video. That's what I'm going to Firinaki tomorrow or tonight, today, with Kingi Tola, the chief, and he's going to take his land back, and the marais, and the obelisks, and everything in this country. One shot. Now, you've got to turn up in court. I'm sending you this video, and a formal letter with those seals on it, the King William IV seal, <coughs> the Moai crown seal, on the document, like as usual, a higher authority than what you have, John Key, as assumed sovereignty. We have the sovereignty tied up in that flag, the 1834 Whakameninga and Whakaputanga flag at Kororareka, under these two chiefs on that power note you're going to get. Okay, that's your bill. That's your bill. Not for anybody to say it's not because that's our private business in Admiralty of that flag and that ship standing on our land, dry land, off the sea. Okay, so that's our mortgage lien levy document over you. It's a levy, debtors, search and seizure, warrant, writ of execution to seize your property, John Key and everyone else who has offended us. Your Panama Papers, your TPPA contracts, and every other commercial contract that you have signed away on these lands, and your previous Governor Generals, and Jerry Matsuparai, he gets a bill with the Queen as well in London. And we're going there, I'm going there, with a delegation of jury, six jury, and uh, of native surname chiefs and four non-native surname chiefs from Waitangi and me, myself the sheriff and Jamie and Marie Patrick 
give it Patrick for the eight points down that flank. Surname. Bloodlines. To Nato. Bloodlines. Family here of the contract. Okay, you got that, John Key? And your new uh, Governor General, Patsy Reedy. Right, you got that? These are real. Don't ignore them as you have for the last few years I've been writing them and sending them to you and your Governor Generals and the police are all liable. The Navy is liable because they're the ones administering Intuition New Zealand Limited or the Business New Zealand Business Roundtable. Our Akaro Bank will be on the table tomorrow to audit that account, to audit the BNZ account with the British military, to audit HM Treasury account in England, the Queen's account, to audit your Treasury here, New Zealand Treasury and Bill English, John Key. These are orders I make as a sheriff in the court. And the jury will make a ruling on it, whether they find you guilty or not. If you're not in court, you're guilty as charged. And this note goes on your head and gets banked into the ANZ Bank in Auckland and London. Okay, the ANZ Bank there under Na Akua Ewa Aotea Limited Company. And also the company in England, Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company, registered in London. Okay, the notes will be put into the banks to draw on against your assets, John Key, and every other Crown corporate agent asset that is liable with your names in the wanted warrant. <coughs> I'm making this statement on this video today. On the 2nd of, Friday the 2nd of December 2016, <coughs> that all the charges against you, John Key, I will read them out as much as I can and read out the charges against the New Zealand Navy and your TPPA, John Key. I've warned you many times of the consequences of no response or non-performance on your part to the Taumata and Whakameninga on Titi Marae and now on Waitangi Marae. They're going to seize that land, John Key, because I'm making the orders. They're going to seize it back into their custody, ownership, commercial, trading, bank, ownership. And I, there, as creditor and native assessor, the judges are native assessors, and as well as the jury is native assessors as well. So we've got a full lineup of native jury and judges. There'll be a name uh, uh, lineup of it tomorrow at the meeting. And I'm responsible with those tomata to <coughs> put forward the proposals, the petitions to nominate King Ernest Augustus the fifth into Westminster. And I'm going there with the delegation to sack the Queen as our trustee of the Queen Victoria Trust and Akaro Bank there and sack Prince Andrew as a trustee and the King and Queen of Spain, King Ferdinand Marcos and his wife Amelda Marcos, Queen Amelda Marcos, and seize on the 400 metric tons of gold and the other 200, 400,000 metric tons of gold and also the 200,000 metric tons of gold missing from the Twin Towers um, in New York, Fort Knox, okay? So that and also the other 200 plus metric tons of gold in the Vatican and also in Swiss banks, Hawaii <coughs> and other countries that they have hidden them. All that gold will be seized by the British military, our partner, our legal, legitimate 
Private Contract Admiralty Court Martial Partnership and the new Brexit British Government, UK. Those are our partners behind these power notes that I'm putting together are legal instruments to draw on in any bank in the world from John Key government and all his trading partners in the TPPA, all those are liable. Everything that you've done on contracts, John Key, under your Vice Admiral authority from nowhere that you can't prove who you get your authority from, you'll have to tell us in the court. That's why, Tony, on the 6th of February, you'll have to tell us inside there because we're going to be waiting there for you. And Chief of Navy, John Martin, you step into that court. I'm just giving you ample warning to bring your titles with you because I'll have the titles here for the Manukau land title and the Ututonga land title for those blocks in Waitangi. Go back to the Hutton of Ngāti Rahi, Ngāti Kawa and Ngāti Rehia on those land blocks. TT, land blocks, TB3 block, TB3 block, Kachi Marae block, the Waitangi land blocks on the other side will all be seized, John Key. I'm making the red order of execution to seize them. And also the Hiringa land blocks at Port Awanui since I went to the court hearing on Wednesday the 30th of November 2016 where the Maryland court made a ruling to transfer the trustee, responsible trustee from Betty Colley to myself, John Hawaii Kaki Wano, <coughs> as the only trustee there responsible to the Maryland court and Te Tumu Tumu Paro has just sent an email to me yesterday saying that <coughs> my lease on the land was unsuccessful. Right? I'm just making this public statement. Unsuccessful. That's Te Tumutumu Pairo. They've got a problem down there. Everybody that I've come across on their land blocks want Te Tumutumu Pairo off the blocks altogether because of what they're doing. And the Haha -ha block with Victor Cosmos, you're offending the hapus that I'm involved with, and you've always been like that with me on the Marangaro C12 block. Now, we're going to put an order on all those blocks the Marangaro blocks, Marangaro blocks, and the Hedanga blocks. All the blocks I'm involved with, and including the motel at Blotton Point, all those Ulupa lands will be seized. Right? See, with these power notes. Everybody who gets a power note on their head, that's an offender. So anyone making complaints will be filed into any district court in this country and the Pacific Islands and the world for that matter once this one heads off from the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court with these two chiefs, Wachara and Hika, Oni Hika, okay? Hongi Hika. <coughs> so this is our legacy title, native title, that we're going on. The first British title and government set up in the Colorado that made the flag design with the eight point stars on the four corners, the one that we have, that is our title, our commercial admiralty of the sea title to all the lands where it's been used in the world. Now I'm saying to the Whakamininga and the chiefs, and the native court jurors and judges for tomorrow's hui at Firinaki uh, Moria Marae M O R I A Marae in Firinaki just on the edge of the township <coughs> at 10 o'clock tomorrow <coughs> uh, the 3rd of uh, December 2016 for the record that we will set up this jury and native court hearing there to seize these lands. So that's the Waitangi land box, the Titi land box, the Heringa land box, the Marangaro land box, 
all of them, all of them in here, and the other Hitchbay land blocks at Lauren Point, all those Farekaheka land blocks, okay, the whole lot, one job, everyone will be separated out, but these are the first ones with power notes going on, and the people who just bought that motel, the Lauren Point motel, you're going to lose it. I've warned you all, and the real estate, you're going to get a bill on your head, another big power note. The whole company will be bankrupted. And Bailey's for selling Cook Street. <coughs> Bailey's, you're going, to, you're, you're going to lose everything. You're going to lose everything with one of these power notes. I'm stipulating the law here. Law is contract. Contract makes the law. We make the law with these contracts I've got on you through this native court jury, grand jury hearing, okay, grand jury. John Key, you have committed crimes as much as Hillary Clinton, will get the same bow note on her head and Obama's head. Don't worry, we'll sort that lot out. Now, I'm warning Donald Trump, do not tamper with our Queen Victoria Trust, Akaro Bank, and that gold in the Philippines. That's our property. Do not Go anywhere near it, and the Queen, because we're going to flush her out of our trust and put this green power note, 970 million trillion trillion power note, on her head. And everybody who's been linked to her, including the Pope, the Rothschild banks, <coughs> the elite, the CIA, the ISIS, Obama, Clinton, I dare say Donald Trump. You're getting close to it. You're getting close to it, and the Vatican, city, private businesses, City of London, private businesses, Bank of England, private businesses, Federal State of America, United States, Federal State, get some note, you all get separate notes inside the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. It's split out. Everything comes out of that, that note to you, John Key, of 1,000 million trillion comes out of that 970 million trillion pound note. 1,000, one, 970 million trillion trillion pound note. One pound note. Right over your heads. Okay? So the British military is our partner in that. The Navy, British Navy, is our partner in those notes that I write. It's an order from me, a surrogate King William IV, jurisdiction of Admiralty. Court martial law and we use these instruments under the financial martial law force <coughs> bit of execution in the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court for the whole world. So with the Whakaminia, they have their portion of that 970 million trillion trillion pound note. So it's broken down into that 1000 million trillion pound note spread amongst the membership of the Maui Crown King William IV Trust in this country. That note. John Key, that's your bill. That's all your bill and all your corporate companies here. Intuition is limited and everything you must show us the box. The HM or the New Zealand Treasury books must open them up to us and the Panama papers will be opened up to us by force of the British military. Okay, I'm saying this on this video for the record in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court hearing coming up on the 6th of February 2017. You, John Key, first defendant <coughs> and John Martin, the second defendant and the Governor General, the third defendant and so forth after that. Right, we're going to go around every, don't worry about trying to come here and hide, you people, with all the money in the world, the elite people. You come here, you're walking straight to that court. In any district court where the Hapu, native chiefs, sheriffs, will investigate every title inside their boundary area of regions. Right? You've got four main parliament regions, republics, Te Tai Tokoro up north, in the east, the Tai Rafiti region, and to the west, <coughs> the Toho Uru region, 
and then the South Kitai Tonga. Those were the four main parliament regions under the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. Okay, so that trust caters for New Zealand, and the rest of the world comes under their part of claim to that estate under that 970 million trillion download. Okay, so we've carved off one piece of it under this first law of claim against you, John Key, and your government, cabinet, parliament, and all your crown agents, every single one of them, and the corporations, including the police corporation companies, private companies, and all the companies here, the real estate companies, everything, is now subject to that bailout. It's legal tender going into the ANZ Bank to bank against your personal property, John Key. Pope Francis got rid of all the UCC laws, canon law, career law, admiralty law, and uh, <coughs> civil law. He got rid of all your laws and you're still using them. <coughs> we use our own laws of the same admiralty under King William in the contract with our flag. That's our private contract since the 20th of March 1834. So the bill starts from that date right till now. That includes the fiat money that's been spun over in the banks fraudulent and land sale fraudulent right back. And also all the assets, the gold, especially the gold, there's more than a million metric tons of gold at large here. Now we're putting these pound notes against all that gold, John Key, all of it, because it's our property. It's for you or anyone else to prove where you got your authority to gather it from, where it's your jurisdiction to ship it, who gave you the permission to store it and to make money out of it. That's our trust and our bank, the Akaroa Bank, we're going, and the BNZ is liable as well. The BNZ is collecting all the money, the interest and the principal, and sending it into the Akaroa Bank on our behalf and the administrators of that account and Intuition Newsman Limited and Waitangi National Trust Board. Directors, all the directors, CEOs, are now liable. You get this bill, spread amongst yourselves. Now it's up to the Haku sheriffs in any district court in this country and the Pacific Islands to investigate with a writ of execution warrant, search and seize any property that's showing signs of fraud and defrauding of public. And these notes go towards public as well around the world. In the Commonwealth countries, the 250 countries we have on our website. Okay, so I make myself clear on this video to you, the world, that we have one shot to do this and to call in the count to settlement. Right? We're settling the count, Donkey, and your title. It's only a paper title of instrument of admiralty mortgage. Then, it's not a levy, it's a lien. Over, a hold over the land while you rake the money out of it and selling bits and pieces of it. Okay? Now we're seizing the whole lot if you can't answer. If you can't answer what I'm saying, in front of the jury, in front of the Whakaminia, in front of the chiefs of all the Confederation tribes in corporations at Waitangi, on our land, then you lose. It's forfeited. Right? I'm stipulating that the government, your government, in exile, New South Wales, in Wellington, will continue to govern your own people. And we will govern under the Maui Crown, King William IV, <coughs> Commonwealth, Federal State, Government of the World. Okay? I say that with legitimacy that we have a dual government with the British, Navy, military, Westminster. 
Okay, so that's our contract. It's still there from that day of the 15th of March, 1834. Captain Clendon title. Proclamation. Okay, you got that? So from there it grew that commercial ownership of property, land, resources, certificates of birth, death, marriages, and any instruments used under the Admiralty Law of a King, not a Queen, of a King. At that time, between 1830 and 1837, laws apply of King Lim Port in Westminster. Those are our laws that apply, and we modify those with the British law system. Our power note, the power note, is subjected to British tax in Britain <coughs> and through the world in the 250 countries to pay for the military out of it and their portion of what we think they should get because the British didn't give us any part of their use of Admiralty with our flag. They just let New Zealand government make their decisions and never kept them in check. It's their libel, you're libel, the British government, Westminster, is libel for letting John Key and the Queen run loose and run ISIS and all the violence in the world and fracking and earthquakes and tsunamis. All that comes under John Key. You're getting the bill for all of that. You're getting the bill for all the wars out of that 970 million trillion trillion pound note. You're getting the bill for all the US dollars that's been fraudulent and going under. You're getting the bill for all the confiscated lands and displacement of the natives on their indigenous lands in all the countries of the world, affected by the British military the government and their agents throughout the world under the Queen's commercial contract. Legitimacy or illegitimacy. Okay? So we're seizing the title of her and putting King Ernest Augustus the fifth on the throne. Okay? So those are the things, the main things we have pending the court hearing. We've already opened that marae up on the 15th of April 2016 and passed the laws that I'm saying already. So it's not as though we have to go and start fresh. No, it's done from Waitangi Day. Okay, it was done on Waitangi Day, and then 15th followed it up, and then from there back on to Waitangi Day again with the Whakameninga in its full capacity. Right, we only had King Itauro Chief, Poheba Ipiha, and Willie Pater at the first hearing inside that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court on the 15th of March, April 2016. Okay? I'm just saying the power notes are legal tender from that day. The flag is legal as a commercial trading bank flag of jurisdiction of the sea of Admiralty. Financial martial law applies any time between now and the 6th of February 2017. Okay, so those land blocks, now I'll just take my call. Hello, hello, good old Kingy. Yeah, hey, uh, Kingy is coming over to see you. Yeah? Don't tell her nothing. Okay, I haven't told her what, the, what we're doing. I didn't tell her we're going up, I didn't say anything, because she, she rang me up. Uh, I'll see what she wants, but we, we, um, I... I don't want her to, to mess around with what we're doing when we go up. Yeah, but don't tell her even about us going up north. Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't. I didn't, yeah. I, I didn't want to say anything because it'll just blow everything apart. Yeah, okay, mate. So, so um, uh, after my physio at 2.30, uh, I'll... I'll give you a ring later. Okay, okay. okay. And where are we going to stay at Waitangi, eh? Yeah. Okay, we'll I'll stay. I, I think rang me up to uh, Willie Pato, everything's okay, okay? Okay, okay bye.
Well, Mr. Chief, we're getting ready to go, but uh, my daughter's been playing up a little bit, but I don't like what's happening there with her, and I'm very I'm not happy. My nurse just left me, and I just make this public that my blood pressure's right up. It's 170 over 100 because I haven't been taking my medication, and I'm doing well without it, but then I'm putting up with high blood pressure because it should be 120 over 80. Now she did a full check on me and it says to me I've lost 15 kgs just by going to the gym and swimming and um, also um, physio and acupuncture to fix this problem. I said no problem down here from here down, it's up here where the blood is squashed up. That's what the physio and the acupuncture said. But my doctor didn't want to know about it. When they, the physio and the acupuncture nurse, or the acupuncture Chinese girl, says you need to go and see the ear, nose, and throat doctor. So I'm putting up with all this and trying to fix the thing up. I get more work done and lift more weights with no medication and high blood pressure than having low blood pressure and doing nothing. Okay? That doesn't work for me. <coughs> anyway, I say to her, well, that's up to me, um, and the pills do work, the medic I, don't get me wrong, the medication does work, it works, if I, I've, took it, I've took it now, uh, just to uh, pull the pressure down a bit, but it, then it's always up high, and no matter what, it's always up high wherever I go, I went down the east coast like that, right high, and managed to do everything, okay, I go to the meeting tomorrow, and take my medication, so that it's not too high. <coughs> anyway, that's my personal problems that um, um, I have to fix uh, and make some effort myself to fix. So there, I'm doing something about it. It's taken a year to get rid of just 15 kgs, and I feel a lot better about it. Now here's Jamie, what she's saying. <coughs> no, it's not her. She was earlier. So I hope I don't blow up with my daughter because I'm trying to be nice and peaceful with Kingy. We're, we're doing things important to save this country from being stolen once and once and it's gone. So I'm going to Ngāpui to tell them, look, one shot. You only got one shot and don't let me down. Don't let me down. So Kingy's coming with me so we can have a good talk about these things I'm telling you about. It's real people. You better believe it. I am not made this up yesterday. It's taken me over 20 years to get this far and know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I've got the Rogan judge's blood in me, the English-Scottish man, family, and I've got the Cosgrove's lawyer blood in me from Dublin in Ireland alongside Jamie and Marie Patrick. Okay, that's her Patrick, eight-point star that she's coming with me. That's why she's on the pound note, people. She's on the pound note as live. Live came to St. Patrick's Church Order in Dublin. And King William III <coughs> legacy in Westminster Parliament with the St. Patrick's Order there. He took off the Catholics. The Queen Elizabeth gave that away to the Vatican to make her own private business. That's what we got issues with. And King Ernest Augustus the Fifth will get it back and put it back into Westminster, where it belongs to us, our families, me and Jamie, in Ireland, Dublin, on the old St. Patrick's Order Church. That's part of our history and our legacy and genealogy, Papa, church beliefs with Maui. Tahitian, her Natai family, her mum is Natai, and her father is Stuart. Okay? 
and um, her mum being Patrick, or Patrick, her father being Stuart. That's where the names come in, Natai, Patrick and Stuart, on the and me, Maui, Wānoa, Tahitian, title to the Maui standing in London, Brussels, France, New York, Washington DC, Chile, New Zealand, South Island and North Island, Auckland and Dunedin, with the crown on his head in Dunedin, that's the crown, Not the hat on his head, the Maui with the hat on his head is the crown, that's God's crown, <coughs> and that's our legacy on the pound notes, and king, and chief, Hongihika, Napui, and chief, Tira Waikato, Whareherehere, Manikau, the other chief, the one that did the commerce, the land titles, the native land titles, the documentation, the legal side of the pound note, money, currency, at the time of Tafia, King Tafia, Pound Note. Right? Came out of these two chiefs. That's what our legacy is to claim everything under that king and his laws. Okay? Inside that Watani Marai King's Bench Native Court. So that's really what I wanted to say today. John King, you're being served. I'm serving you this video notice in public as a fact check that you have to come with your fact check and also Chief of Navy John Martin you have to come with your fact check where you get your authority from of Admiralty to make your mortgage lien documents and titles to go and sell to the TPPA to the other 12 countries that you're in and to America where do you get your authority from John King your jurisdiction your constitution and your title to the land, to talk to the land and sell the land, under whose authority of origination and unique native title. Whose native title are you using, John Key? It better not be Maori, or Iwi, or Te Tumutumu Pairo Trust. They changed their name from using the Maori Trust to that. All the Maori... FOMA, Federation of Maori Authority, or them, anything that's got Iwi Maori on it, or Maori, head with the Queen, is illegitimate and falls short of authority to Moai Crown. Hapu, Native Chiefs, Whakaminia, and their Whakaputanga. Sovereign. That's enough. See. And to you, John Martin, this video is to you too. From the Navy, you fail to perform and turn up to Kororareka to raise the flag. And you said you were coming and you didn't because Jim Tupi Uikotu was there. Put the flag up. He also put the flag up on Waitangi Day. Upside down, in both places. Upside down as a sign of distress. That meant that this country is in distress with the Hapu chiefs. Now, we aim to undistress it and take it out of your jurisdiction and back into ours. Okay? Your Navy, John Key, failed to invite the British Navy here, our partners. Why? Because if they were here, we were going to get them to sack you all. Okay, that's why. And because you're hiding the truth from the people. And the world. And Obama and Clinton fail badly. And we're going to put this pound note on them too. All those people in America and Dakota, listen up. These pound notes cover the debt of what Obama has done to you. And in Canada... Australia, India, Africa, the same pound note is going on your heads. Those 
serious offenders on your lands, on your indigenous native lands, came from this two chiefs here. The power note will be issued from us in London under the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company and the Moai Crown King William IV Trust. The trust is administering the first pound notes here tomorrow in readiness for the 6th of February 2017 court hearing. It's a grand jury court hearing. The jury will make the decision, a native jury. Now, the people we offend, we, the people are defendants named, have to turn up in that court. If they don't, we make a ruling. John Key, if you fail to turn up, we make a ruling without you. You're liable for arrest by British military and sheriffs here, native sheriffs, under our authority of jurisdiction, the Whakamininga, the old elders, and the sheriff. Right? We have trained sheriffs at some stage to carry out the duties from me here while I go to England with Jane and the delegation of jury, native court jury, judges, and Whakamininga flag to put up in Westminster and on. King William IV Memorial site and with the Whakamenia chiefs there in concert with Westminster Government Parliament. Okay? We're taking our place inside Westminster as an authority partnership in a dual government arrangement with the rest of the world. 250 countries, although they say there's 213 countries, we have 250 countries on our site, website, that'll fire up with the total energy shares, with that bar note behind it. Right, so we have gold currency, that, that gold is missing, we're putting these notes up against that gold on key, because it's stolen, considered stolen, or declared stolen, or proclaimed stolen from our Queen Victoria Trust. The Queen took it out and put it somewhere else of England's soil land. If there's any gold left there, then that's part of this claim as well as the pound notes. Okay, once again, the 970 million trillion trillion pound note was devised or put together through the OPPT and the World Bank figures of what its worth was in their assessment over 11 years and that's where that figures came out. Well, that's our business. That's not for anybody to, to, to say anything because that's between us, the Whakamuninga chiefs and sheriff, surrogate king, William IV, that's myself, and the jury, the native court judges, and Queen Victoria Trust, and herself. Okay, and the queen, Elizabeth, the head of that trust. We're going to speak to her when we get to Buckingham Palace. We're going to speak to her as our delegation from here, as her Maori Iwi treaty partner that she's defrauded and left for dead, abandoned ship with them, and now she faces a defaulted contract of her wealth, net wealth, worth inheritance back into the King's Bench Court in front of the Whakamenia and us, the Chiefs. Okay, Queen, you got that? You got that? That's how it looks. The British Navy and the British military are obligated to recover all this debt from you, Queen Elizabeth, and all your elite families that have been sucking off it. Right? And all your corporations and trusts right through the world who have benefit for your own gain without our authority to use King William the Fourth flag of jurisdiction and constitution. Okay? That's all. We'll see you later because I have a visit her soon and so I'm going to get ready for that and carry on with my work. Have a nice day. Bye.
Time now, 10 o'clock. Auckland, New Zealand, Aru. Bye.